guess it's very nice here in Intramuros. It's a piece of the past, piece of the history. And I also saw there are some schools around, school and university. So it's very lively. Kilala ang Intramuros dahil isa ito sa makasaysayang lugar sa Pilipinas. Ang Intramuros o ang lungsod na napapalibutan ng bato o mas kilala sa tawag na World City ay ang pinakamatandang lungsod sa Maynila at Kabisera ng Pilipinas. Ito ay pinatayo ng mga Hispano noong ikalabing anim na siglo. Maraming makasaysayang lugar ang nasasakupan ng Intramuros. Karamihan ng nasa loob ng Intramuros ay mga estudyante, may kaugnayan sa gobyerno at kasapi ng simbahan. Mga pamilyang nakatira sa gilid-gilid ng Intramuros at pedicab drivers. Habang ang pukusod ang panahon, may, may mga pagbabago na gagalap sa iba't ibang lugar kabilang namin ng Intramuros. Pagbabagong hindi natin alam kung nakahagad na ba o kaaya-aya pa sa mga mata ng mga tao. Ngunit bago natin alamin ang mga problema sa loob ng Intramuros at kung ano-ano ang mga solusyon dito, puntahan muna natin ang ilang makasaysayang lugar sa loob nito. Fort Santiago is one of the oldest fortifications in Manila. Built in 1571 on the site of the native settlement of Raja Sulaiman. Former headquarters of the Philippine Division of the U.S. Army, occupied by the Japanese military in 1942, where hundreds of civilians and guerrillas were imprisoned, tortured, and executed. Destroyed in the Battle of Manila in 1945. Used as depot of the U.S. Transportation Corps, before turned over to the Philippine government in 1946, declared Shrine of Freedom in 1950. Restoration and maintenance of the fort began in 1951 under the National Parks Development Committee. Management was turned over to the Intramuros Administration in 1992. Palacio del Gobernador is the state residence of the Governor General of the Philippines. It is the first palace or Palacio Real constructed in 1599 near Plaza de Armas in Fort Santiago. It was destroyed in 1645 earthquake and it is moved to the present site. It became the Governor General's residence and office as well as the Real Audiencia or the Supreme Court. The present building is constructed in 1976 to house government offices. Pastiga del Palacio was built in 1662 led to the palaces of the Governor General and the Archbishop of Manila. National hero Jose Rizal passed through this gate from Fort Santiago to his execution site at Bagambayan in 1896. Puerto de Santa Lucia was built in 1603. This was one of the original entrances to the walled city. It underwent improvements in the late 18th century. It was destroyed during the Battle of Manila in 1945. ECJ Building, the Casa Nueva or the Provincial House of the Augustinian Order, built in 1895 and connected to San Agustin Convent by an ornate covered walkway over Calle Real, two-story building constructed to house Adamson University in 1939, school founded in 1932 by George and Lucas Adamson as a technological school in Santa Cruz, Manila used as army barracks during the Japanese occupation. Balortilio de San Jose is a tunnel-like passage built in with a drainage canal emptying out into the moat. Its primary use was to transport ammunition to Reducto de San Pedro. It served as General Douglas MacArthur's headquarters in 1941. Reducto de San Pedro. This is an independent pentagonal structure built outside the walls. It had its own stockpile of cannonballs deposited in recess ledges at the entrance. A ramp on one side of the structure leading to the parapet made their transport easier. Gun emplacements looked out of the parapet. Bagumbayan Light and Sound Museum is the centerpiece project of the Visit Philippines 2013 campaign. 
This lot was the former site of the convent of the nuns of the Beateria de la Campania de Jesus, now the religious of the Virgin Mary. It is considered as a major tourist attraction, being the first of its kind in Asia. Baluarda de San Diego Designed and built by Jesuit priest Antonio Sedeño from 1586 to 1587, it is one of the oldest stone fortifications in Intramuros, began as a circular fort called Nuestra Señora de Guía. Puerto Real was built in 1663. It was used exclusively by the Governor General for state occasions. Original gate at the right side of the Baluarte de San Andres and faced the village of Bagumbayan. It was destroyed during the British invasion in 1762. Revelin del Parian was built in 1603 following Chinese uprising. It was used as defense line between the curtain walls of Baluarte de San Andres and the Parian Gate. Baluarte de San Andres was designed to protect the old Puerto Real and reinforce southeastern part of Intramuros. It was also called Baluarte de San Nicolas or Carranza. It was destroyed during the British Siege of Manila in 1762. Revelin de Recoletos Built in 1771, named after the Recoletos Church nearby, also known as Revelin de Dilao, built to strengthen the defense of the curtain wall between Balwarte de Dilao and Balwarte de San Andres, named Aurora Gardens in honor of the wife of Commonwealth President Manuel El Quezon. Balwarte de Dilao was built in 1592 as part of the original fortifications, also known as San Lorenzo, San Francisco, San Francisco de Dilao or simply Dilao. It was named after the Japanese suburb it faced across the city. Puerta del Parian Named after the Parian de Aroceros across the city where Chinese merchants lived. Built in 1593, one of the earliest entrances to Intramuros. Became official entrance of the Governor General in 1764 after destruction of Puerta Real during the British invasion. Revelin del Parian was built in 1603 following Chinese uprising. It was used as defense line between the curtain walls of Baluarte de San Andres and the Parian Gate. Baluarte de San Gabriel Built in 1593, this was the world city's most important defense in the north that protected the riverside. Baluarte de San Gabriel underwent renovations in the 18th century, destroyed in 1945 during the Battle of Manila, restored in 1989. Puerta de Isabel was opened in 1861, the last gate to be built in Intramuros. It was damaged during the Battle of Manila in 1945. It was placed in front of Malati Church from 1896 until 1970. It was moved to present site in 1975. Aduana or Intendencia, new building erected from 1874 to 1876, housed the customs offices, the Intendencia General de Hacienda or Central Administration, the Treasury as well as the new Casa de Maneda. Plaza Santo Tomas was originally purchased by the Dominican Order in 1627 for their cemetery and garden. It was given to the University of Santo Tomas in 1879. Original monument transferred to present campus along Espana Street after the war. Ayuntamiento, seat of City Council of Manila, first structure built from 1599 to 1607, severely damaged in the earthquakes of 1645 and 1658, demolished to make way for new building. Second building constructed in 1735, destroyed in 1863 earthquake. Plaza de Roma was formerly called Plaza Mayor. It was converted into a park in 1797. It was renamed Plaza McKinley after U.S. President William McKinley in 1901. It was renamed Plaza de Roma in 1961 to honor Sacred College of Cardinals in Rome following elevation of first Filipino Cardinal Rufino J. Santos. Manila Metropolitan Cathedral is the eighth structure to rise on this site. The present cathedral, completed in 1958, was elevated to the rank of Basilica Minor by Pope John Paul II in 1983. It is officially named Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Bahay Chinoy is a museum that showcases the tangible imprints and lasting influences of the Chinese. The museum holds lifelike dioramas depicting the lives of the early Chinese immigrants and ancient Chinese maps and annals. 
Plazuela de Santa Isabel is made part of Santa Isabel College which lacked an open space characteristic of the Spanish buildings. San Agustin Church is the oldest church in the Philippines. Known as the Church of St. Paul, the first church of the Augustinian Order was built in 1571. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. Plaza San Luis Complex was named after one of the barrios of Old Intramuros. This is a cultural com commercial complex of nine houses representing Philippine Hispanic architecture. Displayed are unique and valuable artifacts from the Intramuros Administration Museum Collection. Maray ng bento, katulad ko. Pangalawa, mga sidecar ko ay nagbabawa na yun. Bali, ang nagbabawal yung Intramuros Administration. Ang problema rito sa Intramuros, marami pa rin dito mahirap. Kahit ano, pagan Yung iba mayayaman, pero marami pa rin dito ba dyan. Ako kung sa problema, marami. Kagaya ng pagtinda namin, inuuli kami. Tapos hindi naman sila nagsasabi kung ano bang gusto nila. Kaya hindi namin alam kung ano bang problema. Pero yun talaga ang problema sa amin. Yung nagtitinda kami dito, nabigla kami kukulihin. Ang kinakaya pagbabago ng Intramuros ngayon, sanahin yung lugar na yung bida ng mga mga drugs, kasi hindi na meron dito ng drugs. Kaya yun ang mas, yun ang sipiliin. Kailangan i-repigyan ng relocation yung mga tao na kapera ng iba. Kung gusto nila na bawalan kami dito, sana ang, ah, kung gusto nila pala na makakumita kami dito, tapos kumita din sila sa amin, sana pag-usapan namin kung ano bang yung, ano, ang Wastong paraan, wastong uh, tamang paraan para uh, kami magkakasundo lahat. Kagaya sa amin, ito, sa vendors, tapos sa kanila sa mataas na officialist dito sa Intramuros. Yun. Ang gusto ko lang sana mangyari na kahit singilin namin nila kami ng bayad, papatol kami kasi dito kami naghahanap buhay.